Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this video, I want to show you how you can customize the Visual Studio Code workspace and make it more attractive. I've got many requests to share my Visual Studio Code setting with you, so I decided to make this video. For many beginners, when they open Visual Studio Code Editor, first time it looks something like this, with just a simple HTML file. But do you recognize one thing? We spent many hours with this workspace, then why don't we glorify it? So in this video, we're gonna glorify this Visual Studio Code theme with some custom styling. When writing code in any editor, keep in mind always keep your workspace attractive and beautiful, so you are not getting bored with the same visual. Now I will show you which is my favorite theme when I work with Visual Studio Code Editor and how I customize it. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first change this default theme and choose my favorite one. I'm going to just click on this extension tab and search here theme. Now as you can see here, you have here list of themes. But in this list, I don't have my favorite theme. So I'm going to just say here, one dark pro. So this is my favorite theme. And this is the most downloaded themes for Visual Studio Code. Now to select this theme, you just need to install this theme in your Visual Studio Code. And just say here, select color theme. So when you click on the select color theme, this theme selected to your workspace. And when you click on the set color theme, Visual Studio Code asks you to select your favorite theme. Now if you open the Explorer tab, I have the different workspace. My theme is changed completely. Now what I want, I want to change this font and the font size and the font width. To do that, I'm going to just install the font from the Google font. Now to select the font family, I'm not going to use the predefined font from my system. Instead, I'm going to install new font from Google font website. So I'm going to open a new browser and search here Google font. And just click on this Google font website and you can search here thousands of font whatever you want. So my favorite font for the code editor, I'm going to choose here Roboto. If you want, you can choose your own font as well. So I'm going to just select this Roboto font. So I'm going to just click on this add icon and from here, so I'm going to just download it. I have this Roboto zip file. So I'm going to just open it. So as you can see here, I have the zip file here. So I'm going to just right click here and say extract here. Now you just need to install this font in your system. To do that, just open the control panel and from here select the view large icons and select these fonts. And you just need to drag and drop that font family right here. So I'm going to just select these fonts and drag and drop right here. I already have this font in my font family, so I'm not going to install it, right? Now, just after that, you can use this font in VS Code Editor. But before you specify this font to Visual Studio Code Editor, you need to reload your VS Code Editor. To reload the VS Code Editor, just press Ctrl Shift P on Window, or you can press Ctrl Command P on Mac. So I'm going to just press Ctrl Shift P and just say here Reload. And I just want to reload the window, so I'm going to just enter here. So just after that, once I reload the application, I'm going to just click on this manage icon and from this manage icon, I'm going to select setting. Now to select the font family, you just need to first select the text editor and select the font. If you want, you can specify this font from the JSON object as well, right from here. But I want to specify this font from the setting. So I'm going to just get rid of this font family and just say here Roboto. And I also want to specify the fallback value here. So I'm going to just specify here in the single quote, mono space, right? Now just open the index.html file. And as you can see here, the font is changed. Now I just wanted to increase the font size and the width. So I'm going to select the settings, increase the font size to 17. And I want to add font width. So I'm going to select here 600, right? When I open the index.html file, you can see it looks better than the previous one. Just after that, what I want, I want to change these icons. So I'm going to select the extension tab and say here material icon theme. So I'm going to just select this material icon theme and install these icons in my Visual Studio Code editor, right? So I'm going to just click on this install button to install these icons. Now once this icon has been installed, you just need to set this file icon theme. So I'm going to just click on this set file icon theme. If you take a look at Visual Studio Code Editor, then it looks more attractive and beautiful than the previous one. Now, as you can see, your workspace is ready to use. Now you can write any code within Visual Studio Code Editor. 
Now this is how I set up my workspace for my Visual Studio Code editor. Like this video if you find anything useful, subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.